All right, let's move on. Here, one of the, or sorry, the speaker said he had a real awakening when he traveled to Africa. What does an awakening mean? Uh, let me see, Zaid, did you catch what that meant? What do you think? What does an awakening mean? Mm. He maybe was surprised or uh, it was an eye-opening experience. Perfect. Thank you, Zaid. That's exactly what I was looking for. See if you could use that, that vocab. That was excellent. So it sort of changed his perspective. It was an eye-opening experience. Good. Can any of you think of a time when you had an awakening? Uh, can I say? Sure, Mohammed. Oh, sorry. It's Who is it? Omar. Yeah. Uh, I had an, an awakening when I started working. Uh huh. And uh, so, what changed? What what part of your perspective uh, I had, changed? I, I had to be uh, responsible and self-independent. Oh yeah. Like my, my parents stopped on giving me my my money. Uh huh. So I had responsibility for myself. Yeah. And you, and you had to make sure you were on time, and you had to make sure that you did what the boss said to do exactly the way he wanted. Yeah, it's often an eye awakening experience. Your first job. Good, Omar. That's excellent. Okay. Then he he saw that uh, these enormous trees, and it just took my breath away. You guys should know what this one means because we learned breathtaking the other day. So if it takes your breath away, what does it, what does that mean? It's like uh, you're unable uh, to express its beauty. Mesmerizing. Good. All those those are all excellent answers. These houses are built in accordance with the habitat. Okay, and I think uh, it was either Heba or Yasmin that were talking about the way that they build the house was built in accordance with the habitat. So they use the environment around them. Yes. And number four, houses can be beautiful, but in most cultures they're built to be purely functional. What does that mean to be purely functional? Like, um, uh, they're not fancy or something. Um, they only does the, the job. They only exactly. do the job. Exactly. Good. They did so, not, they did not, they, they did not uh, only want to the design. They only uh -huh. want to be perfect and uh, they have all what they need in the house. Mm -hmm. Not such as only the design and the beautiful thing from uh, the outside. Good. So it's just oh, it's something practical. that needs to be practical, useful. Good. What are three objects that are purely functional that you can think of? A car in the Could be a type of car. Oh, okay. Okay, we got car. I don't what get else? the question. Okay, so More there are some. Me neither. Okay, so some things are meant to be um, extra beautiful, like we care about the way they look, and there are some things that we don't care about that. We just want to make sure that they are useful and practical. Now, someone said cars. Cars could be very beautiful, right? You could buy a car like a uh, I don't know, a Ferrari or a Lamborghini that's just like super beautiful. Or you could mm -hmm. just buy a Ford or Toyota that's just functional where it does the job that you need it to do. Someone else mentioned mobile phones. You could buy a mobile phone that has all the extra stuff that is so cool and so awesome. Or you could just have a mobile phone that you can call people, text people, and maybe get on the internet, and that would be a fu purely functional mobile phone. Is there anything else that you think of that could be purely functional? Maybe I tools think, and screws uh, and stuff. Good. Air no conditioning problem. units. Okay, air conditioning units, good. I think if we Engines. compare movies to books, books okay. may be purely functional with no like design, beautiful things, uh, just words, sentences. All right, that's possible. Also, beds are usually just functional. No, this. Okay. Good. Beds, clothes, excellent. All those Four ideas are <laughs> good. All right, good. 